Hello, uh, this is Brent Shenyu with Trimble Software Support Team. So today I'm going to go through how you can manage subcrops within a single field boundary. So there's a few ways that we can set this up, all depending on if the subcrop boundaries change from year to year or if they stay the same. So if our subcrop boundaries do change over time, um, then what we can do is we can have a master boundary of the whole field and then make the necessary edits to the subcrop boundaries on a year to year basis. Now, you may find that this process will take a bit more time to complete at the beginning of each crop season, um, mainly because of the different edits that you will have to make uh, to each of the subcrop boundaries uh, year after year. The more preferred option, uh, if possible, is if the boundaries won't change from year to year, just the crops within them, then your master boundary can be permanently split into the sub boundaries. So now this is going to make for much quicker setup time uh, as well as it'll allow for better year over year record keeping. So they are very similar processes, but for this example, we're going to focus on the second method, um, but I will point out the differences along the way. So to create the multiple sub crop boundaries within a field, we're going to start at the field details screen. Click the gear box in the upper right corner. Click new crop. Provide a name for that new uh, sub crop boundary. You're going to choose the crop season, and this can be changed down the line uh, if you do need to change it. And you can enter the acres if you would like, um, but we're going to look at how we can let the software auto-calculate the remaining acres um, for us. And click OK. Now you may get a warning message asking if you would like to update the existing crop zone. So because we're trying to create a new subcrop uh, boundary, we want to click no here. Now you're going to go back to the field profiler and you're now going to see the original field itself as well as your new crop boundary uh, that you just created. So you are going to notice that the full boundary has been copied into this new sub crop boundary. So we just need to quickly edit the boundary to remove any of the unwanted sections uh, from this sub crop boundary. Now, this is where setting up your master field boundary in a way that is easiest to edit will become very important um, to how efficient the workflow is, is moving forward. So this is why we have our um, permanent master uh, boundary already split up into our uh, permanent sub crop boundaries. So again, from the field profiler, we're going to hover over the boundary for our uh, new sub crop boundary. We're going to click on the draw boundary icon. And using the editing tools, we're going to make the necessary changes to the boundary. So in, in our case, we don't have to do too, too much. We're going to just delete the uh, two other portions of our master boundary uh, that aren't related uh, to this crop uh, that we're going to be growing here. And now I'm going to just show you how you can go in and get the software to actually adjust the um, acres of the subcrop boundaries uh, more appropriately. So if we click on the field itself, the right hand corner, go to the gearbox, click the edit field details, and you can see that this is the, what the software is calculating as the boundary area um, for the remaining uh, split here. And so what we're going to end up doing is we just click the refresh button here and then click save down here in the right hand corner. And go back to our field profiler. And we can see that the boundary acres have now been uh, properly adjusted 
we're basically going to just repeat this process. So in our case, we have um, the master boundary split into three. So we're just going to complete this process three times um, and make the necessary boundary edits, uh, deleting uh, any of the uh, areas that we don't need for that uh, sub crop type. Now there is a crucial step that needs to be taken at the beginning of every crop season to ensure the year over year record management integrity for the sub crops. Okay. So this is uh, something that we're going to be doing, um, especially if your crop sub crop boundaries don't change year over year, this is going to be a very, very important step uh, to do. So when we're creating the new crop year for our next season, under the field section, we're going to need to make sure that we check off split fields. So this is going to make sure that it brings forwards all of those uh, sub crop boundaries that we've created into our uh, next crop season. Okay. And if you miss this part of the process, um, you unfortunately will have to recreate those sub crop fields in that crop year. So this is the process uh, that we go through currently to be able to set up uh, multiple sub crops within one uh, larger field boundary. Mm -hmm.